Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope you've been enjoying the last couple months of content I put out. I put out a ton of new videos here. Today is a question I see every single day. Um, coaches always ask me, when should I start paying rent for a facility? All right, we're gonna get straight into it after the intro. All right, this is a great question a lot of people ask me, and what I wanna do is I want you to critically think. While I'm you know, going through everything in this video, I want you to take out a pen, a notepad, and I want you to take notes because if you do this, then you won't have to ask yourself this question anymore, all right? So here's a couple of things that you need to think about. Number one, do you already have enough clients to match whatever the overhead of the facility is, all right? The reason why I start with that is because a lot of people, when they reach out to me, they'll be like, hey, I, I wanna have a facility, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and then when I ask them how many clients they have, they're like, well, I don't, I don't have a business yet. And I'm like, well, why would you go take on that risk of paying you know, $2,000 to $5,000 a month for a facility if you don't have clients yet? So we need to have clients, we need to have cash flow Otherwise, you're going to have to go get it like a loan, um, which, you know, getting a loan isn't terrible, but that puts way more pressure on you if you don't have clients. So a lot of coaches, they jump the gun on getting facility because they don't have clients yet. All right. So you need clients. And I always suggest, which is the second thing, I always suggest starting in a small space and outgrowing that space. So when I say outgrow, that means you have too many clients in that space now. So now we can take those too many clients and put them in a bigger space. So there's so many different ways you can do that. Um, there's a lot of coaches that I work with right now. They will rent out from schools. They'll rent out from churches. They'll rent out from YMCAs. They'll rent out from smaller organizations. I mean, they could rent out from so many different places and have like one court or one spot of where they're doing it. And um, once they gain more clients, once they uh, gain more confidence, then they can move into something that's bigger, all right? That's the second thing. The third thing is if you are uh, paying rent for a facility or if you own a facility, <clears throat> there are two different things. A lot of people don't know that, all right? So if you own your facility, like you have so many more options. You can rent, you can lease that out to people who can pay you. So that can pay down like a lot of the overhead every single month. So you're thinking more in terms of being a business owner and operator, not just using it just for your business, right? If you're leasing out space from, you know, maybe you're on a three to five year lease, something like that, like you should be able to have unlimited access to that space, all right? So this comes down to understanding the terms and the agreement that you have between you and the landlord, right? These are little details so many coaches don't look at. They don't think about um, when they think about getting a space. But you should actively look for paying. You should be looking to pay for rent when your business is ready to do that, right? This is why I always tell every single coach that ever comes across me. Like If you were talking to me on a Zoom call, I would tell you, like, don't try to put yourself in a stressful position if you don't have the clients yet. Right, so this is why you have to focus on getting clients and getting enough clients, getting enough cash flow. Like your business should be operating like a real business before you move into a facility, because moving into a facility is actually going to hurt your business if your business is not properly set up. Right, so I hope that helps. If you're a coach watching this and you have questions about that, like maybe you're in, in, in a spot of transitioning into a facility and you want to chat with me, um, I highly recommend. Get on a call with me. I'm more than willing to help. I, I can talk with you for 15 to 20 minutes. I don't talk to anyone over the phone. It's all on Zoom. Um, every single day since I've been offering this, uh, I've talked to multiple coaches every day, coaches that watch my YouTube videos or coaches that are on my newsletter. So I'm more than happy to chat with you if we haven't talked before. Uh, if you want to get on a call with me, you'll see here. It's very easy to get in touch with me right above me. Text me at that phone number. It's also in the description um, under this video. Get in touch with me there. If you get in touch with me between Monday through Friday, I will get back to you. If you text me on the weekend, uh, I'll get back to you on Monday. All right, that's it for today's video. Hope this helps, and uh, I'll be chatting with you soon.